Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing as Germany and Modern World and Age of History 2. Now, once again, it's all it's also been a little bit since my last video cuz I didn't say I I didn't I never said I would upload that much. But anyway, here we are back with some more Age of History 2. And what am I going to do as Germany? Well, I don't really know. I'm really going to spend a lot of this game building up, because Germany's economy isn't too great when the game starts, I'll just say that. Not the best. And we could, we could do Nazi Germany, we could do, I don't know, we could do, but probably not the Weimar Republic, it's a little easy. We could do the German Empire, but I've already done that in 1440. <laughs> hmm, actually, you know what, I think I'll do the Greater Germanic Reich. It's <clears throat> probably the hardest thing I could do. I have no idea what I need for that, but I need to form the Weimar Republic first, and then Nazi Germany. Uh, if I invade Poland, I should probably take a lot more than just what I need for the Weimar Republic. Yeah. Now immediately, okay, immediately freaking Switzerland and Hungary both hate me. Same with the Netherlands. I didn't know existing could get such a negative attitude, oh my goodness. Most of Eastern Europe freaking hates me besides Poland and the Czech Republic. I don't want the Netherlands on my bad side, it can freaking really mess up my land. Yeah, a lot of this early game is just going to be spent upgrading my economy, because I would not like to have a bad one. The funny thing is that Poland's economy is better than mine, and that's freaking Poland we're talking about. I mean, it's not like they have a bad economy in real life, but, I mean, German Germany in real life, I mean, it's pretty obvious who's bigger. Also, oh, also I want to have investments a little higher than goods. I want I want my economy growing faster than my population, so that way I don't get like economy decline, because that would suck, like very badly. I also I I like some farms here, although I'm kind of worried that I'm gonna get invaded by one of these couple of countries. Yeah, Switzerland and Austria both freaking hate me, so I'm a little worried that they might try to invade me. And by a little, I mean I'm actually pretty freaking worried. I don't want to spend all this game developing this, this, like developing my cities just for Switzerland and Austria to come pouncing in. Yeah, it really looks like they're going to do it. It scares me a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. France, what are you doing? What are, you, what are you doing, man? Why do you have troops right here? I think they're planning to invade Italy. Hmm, <clears throat> interesting. Italy has a better economy, but France has, like, more population. Huh, that's an interesting balance. I wonder who would win that. Now, I've seen France win that before, but usually Italy is also at war with someone else, so... Can't really say it's a fair game. Now I can... You're telling me the moment I... Okay, Switzerland is just freaking spam insulting me. Every every time they can do it again, they do. This happens every game with Switzerland. They have, like... The arrogance is too much for them, and they just get killed. Okay, Austria doesn't seem to hate me that much now. It's mainly Switzerland that still does, along with Hungary. What's going on up here? Ukraine's invading Belarus. Lithuania! 
Turkey and Georgia. Oh, come on, man. Can I not just chill? This is early game, so I highly doubt Lithuania will surrender. Oh, they did. Surprising. Usually in in the early game, like, smaller countries have too big of an ego to accept a peace treaty early on, and they fight you until they die. Like, they can have one province left, and they will not surrender. That's how fat their ego is. Oh, I know how this is gonna go. They're gonna- they're always gonna attack freaking Bremen. I played as Germany in Mario World before, this is always how it goes. Like, they always attack Bremen, nowhere else. Georgia, you wanna quit? I- I doubt it. Nope. And I doubt Turkey will either. And you- why does all of Eastern Europe freaking despise me? Belgium kinda doesn't like me. Luxembourg, what the frick is Luxembourg gonna do? Oh, well, actually, instead of the Greater Germanic Reich, I could just do the German Confederation. That seems easy enough. What is the German Confederation? I'm pretty sure it's Austria, Czechia, South Tyrol. I, I don't know what it is. We're, we're gonna figure it out in a second, though, once we form the Weimar Republic here. See, I would have fight Poland, but uh, Poland's got their own problems. They're they're fighting Egypt, and I can't really. Like, I'm, I've also got my own wars to deal with, so I can't really do anything about this. I can't really like take a big old advantage over this. This is kind of just something I need to let brush over. But but like knowing how Poland usually performs in this game, like I, my war should be over before theirs. Holy crap, why is Frankfurt's economy so bad? Ah, uh, yep, here comes the Turks! You're making this a little too easy, Turkey, but alright. As I expected, they're attacking Bremen, I told ya. They always attack Bremen. No other city ever gets hit, it's just Bremen. It, it is always freaking Bremen. Come on, go for another city. Do you, like, really like destroying only Bremen that much? I have a feeling, knowing Georgia, they're probably coming with a much larger army than Turkey. They're like, that was, that was like, the pre-game. We're gonna... Tur Turkey's gonna come with a bigger army soon. And what the frick just happened? Oh, look at this. See, this is what I'm talking about. Italy just kind of gets unfairly invaded by Spain. They can't really win against Spain. I would send them money, but I've got my own wars to deal with. I guess I could take Luxembourg. Yeah, before someone else gets it. But, but like, be real, who gets Luxembourg? Luxembourg just, like, chills AFK the whole freaking game. And they come back and they ask, Hey guys, what I miss? And the whole world is on fire. Yeah, I don't think Italy's winning this. They, they had a Venice, now they don't. How large are these Spanish? I mean, I can't really see. Oh, well, there's Georgia. Stop attacking Bremen, man. You have, like... You have, like, I love to attack a Bremen disorder. I don't want to recruit from Hanover too much. There. Stop freaking attacking one city. Latvia! Stop! This must be like an everyone hates me run, isn't it? This is one of those games. Switzerland! Actually, no, frick you, I'm using console commands on you. Freaking getting invaded by everyone. That's a really nice army you got there, Switzerland. I can't find it. Just can't really find it. You, you, you have, like, new invisible technology or something? I can't find your army. Yeah, I'm not letting freaking Switzerland ruin my run. I'm sorry, that's just not happening. 
It's always freaking Switzerland. I love being at war with five countries that are all nowhere near me. Like, what's the frick? Turkey, you got your own problems to deal with. Just give the frick up. Okay. Yay, Switzerland actually gained some common sense. Yeah, I don't like being at war with everyone early game. That's freaking stupid. Georgia, stop. Yeah. I'm still fighting Senegal, though. What the frick does Senegal want? Once again, too much of an ego to surrender. I should probably be investing in these city in these cities. Also, here comes freaking Latvia. Let me guess, they're attacking Bremen. I'm so tired of Bremen losing people. This is actually getting stupid. I guess I can just do this. Oh wait a minute, I wanted a little more conscripts from there. Yep, here they come. Why did their why did they just get fifty more soldiers? Okay. Nice try. You freaking suck. I'm trash talking AI. Whatever. Out of you freaking quit it. Yeah, hey, Lithuania, you want to help me with something real quick? Estonia, you too. Get two fronted. Have fun. What the frick? Stop attacking Bremen, you little piece of crap. Find somewhere new to attack, like for real. Every game when I play as Germany, Bremen is the only city that gets attacked. It's actually the most annoying crap ever. And I like to develop in the early game, not be attacked by literally everyone. Poland's, Poland's dealing with their own problems, okay. Oh, look at that. Our economy is much bigger than Poland's now, and I just spent that on the wrong thing. Whatever. Ain't no way Latvia is going to pull this off. They're getting too fronted. I don't believe this. They're, they're going to lose eventually, right? Who's Russia at war with? No one. Am I, like, the only one that, that was in, like, freaking five wars earlier? Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> look at this. I know. I thought that was Spain and Italy, but I forgot Italy freaking died. Italy is just this city, and Spain is too stupid to take it. I'm surprised this this, this land isn't plundered to death. Huh, Spain didn't even touch it. It's all fine. Yeah. I know some of this got messed up. I mean, for the most part, Spain didn't really do too much to Italy. They could have they could have punished them a lot more, but they didn't. Germany. Why am I saying it like I'm not Germany? Because I literally am. What? Whatever. Does Senegal even have sea access? I honestly don't think they do. I know they're somewhere in Africa because they have like the freaking generic three colors that a bajillion African countries have. And I am out of money. And I got some more money now. All I hope is that Ukraine doesn't invade Poland, because I really freaking want... Oh, I just realized something. Russia... Oh, no, it's the other way around. I thought I thought Russia had their troops in Poland, so that would have been a little bad for me. 
Also, I really hope Poland gets rid of that actual somewhat large army. And I don't like how they're destroying all of their freaking cities. It's not going to be too good for me when I actually get those. Well, that's fine. I don't need Danzig. I actually just called that Danzig. Gdansk, not Danzig. I'm an idiot. What the frick, Latvia? How did you win? Oh, they didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the truce is expired with Swiss. Then you know what this means. Spam insults and invasions for no reason. Wait, holy crap. How am I number two from just sitting here upgrading all game? What is Poland doing? They're kind of just chilling. They they won against the coalition. Interesting. Finland hasn't murdered Norway yet. That usually always happens. What's going on in the Netherlands? Oh, they're fighting Denmark. I don't want them taking Denmark. It's a little bit. That's a little bit of a scary thought. Yeah, especially with, like, the advantages that the Netherlands has. And I just spent them on the wrong thing again. I keep wasting my technology points. At least, oh, well, at least I'm not spending them on... Ukraine, no! Russia, help me. Well, you know, but if I help Russia, Russia will be strong. Well, what do I do? Because I can't just let this happen. Ukraine, you absolute piece of crap. Why? Oh, I'm not ready to fight this. And I don't want to fight Ukraine for this land, because that's going to be a hard war. Ukraine, this is the absolute worst thing you could have done. Hungary, do something. Yeah, I'm not liking this too much. Ah, uh, hey, I'm not at war with anyone. What a change. Well, that's not going to last too long, because I plan on fighting Poland soon. Oh, La Latvia! Freaking traitor! Latvia's got to freaking betray, left and right. I'm going to recruit a little bit. And I'm um, a minor case of out of money. Come on, Poland, fight back. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. I highly doubt they have any soldiers. They've been at war for a while now. Should be able to capture all the, like, cities I want for the German Confederation. I don't think it'll be that hard. The only really hard thing will be acquiring Kleningrad from Russia. That's the only thing I'm really scared of. I just real oh wait, no, I need it for the Weimar Republic, but I don't need it for the German Confederation. Well then, what's the point in having it? Ah, screw it, I'll take it. I don't want to punish Poland that badly, because I don't I don't want a strong Ukraine. It's a little scary, considering they already have Belarus. But it looks like they're dealing with an absolute freaking mess right now. No, I routed those the wrong way. Ah, whatever. Okay, well, I took what I wanted. Now let's get the frick out of this war. Please tell me I can take this. <gasps> yes, I can. Barely, but I can. Alright, I think I'm gonna invade Luxembourg next. Also, Poland, please don't lose. Poland? Poland? Frick! 
I really don't want them losing this. Finland! What did I do to you? At least Switzerland doesn't, like, absolutely freaking hate me this time. And hey, I managed to get the Polish cities with, with like, somewhat of their economy intact. Good, good, good. I mean, I managed to get them before they got completely destroyed from recruiting. Uh, meanwhile, Poland, on the other hand, they're not- I mean, they're dealing with a lot right now. Lithuania, can you please be so nice as to help out? Actually, I'll ask Romania. Czech Republic, you can do your duty too. Come on, help Poland out. Help Poland win. Poland is struggling, man. Also, I've got Finland to deal with, so not not fun. Even though I'm number one, they will not peace out. Oh, look at this massive offensive. This might be the end for Ukraine, but at the same time, Poland's freaking still capitulating. I don't want Poland to die. That's just a little scary. I don't want like a, a a terrifyingly strong Ukraine. That's just not not my thing. Finland, can you like stop? What? Oh, I thought that, I thought that was Latvia that was attacking me. I was like, what do you mean? I peaced out with them. Oh hey, the population is still someone intact too. I mean, it's not it's not perfect, but it's not terrible. I was expecting it to be like completely freaking decimated by now. I thought Poland would have destroyed these cities by now, but they're actually not that bad. Well, so I need to make a port here so I can deal with freaking Finland. Either that, or I need to fight Russia. Either one. Actually, I know what I could do. Aha! It worked. I thought Poland had a port here. I guess they don't. Also, jeez, how big is my army? I thought it was smaller than this. Ukraine's getting freaking pummeled. Okay, yeah, Ukraine's dead. And hey, look at that. Poland survived and even got some territory out of it. And I don't have to fight Finland. Good. Now, on the other hand, I very much do have to fight Russia. But I'm stronger than them by a landslide, so this shouldn't really be a big deal. Poland just looks weird now. Like, I, it would have been nicer if they got, like, their pre-World War II borders. But that's not what they got. They just got a bunch of random crap instead. Now that I can actually chill and upgrade my economy. Oh wait, actually, I'm an idiot. I could be going for Luxembourg right now. And also, I didn't know the provinces here sucked so bad. Up, oh, I'm out of money. What the frick just happened? Hungary! I thought we were friends. Man, they freaking all out betrayed me, man. Wow, blatant traitors. Are you kidding me? Also, I declare war on Luxembourg and they're literally not doing anything. I need to take a loan here. Ah, they attacked me. Luxembourg, the frick are you up to? You gonna attack me or what? Oh, oh, that's Luxembourg. Okay, fine, I'll invade you. Hmm, I thought, I thought, like, I w my defensive plan was that they would attempt to attack me first, and I would, you know, use my numerical superiority. Hungary, you gonna stop? Okay, good, I'm only at war with Kazakhstan. I kind of, like, depleted the population here. Not good. I guess I can just ban the army there and, like, get some population back.
Can't form the Weimar Republic just yet, but I've got... What's the... F okay. Oh, are you kidding me? Spain has this. I mean, I am number one, though, so I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. So let me upgrade the economy here. Didn't know this place got so far so fast. Yeah, 50,000 people in Czarland? What's going on? Oh, I thought that was France that just betrayed Austria for a second. I was about to freaking lose it. I would have been, like, unbearably mad if that happened. Also, Hunger, you've got really nothing to complain about. You got Ruthenia. Like, why are you so mad? I might make the farm a level 3 here, because the population there is a lot less than it is in the surrounding areas. Holy crap, we've got some big cities now. The thing is, with Germany, like, your cities don't start off that big, but it doesn't take a lot of effort to make them big. So what about Berlin? Yeah, Berlin could use some investments. And look at our economy right now. We are booming. What about here? Ooh, I did not realize there was a large population here. Can't really tell how big it is with the other areas. And this place is picking up population fast. Yeah, this this province is recovering fairly quickly. Oh, I'm about to go to war with Sweden. I guarantee it'll happen, but they're a freaking moron if they do. They're already at war with the UK, who has a big old numerical advantage. Like, they're just... Sweden's leader officially has autism if they're stupid enough to go to war with me. That's just a noob play. Hanover, I guess I can invest in it. Holy crap, we've got 40,000 like, like, people and only like freaking barely any economy here. What's up with this? Yeah, let's fix that before my economy starts declining. I only really actually care about the German half of my country. Like the Polish part that I just took, I don't care too much about. What the frick is going on here? I don't need- I hope- I sure hope I don't need that for the German Confederation. I don't think I do, but if I do, and France is freaking taking everything. I really don't think that's not big of a formable, though, it's the thing. I don't know how big it is, I guess we'll find out once I actually make the Weimar Republic. I'm sorry. Excuse me. At least I don't have a freaking Switzerland to worry about. That's always reassuring. I didn't realize I haven't been investing too much in this area down here. Yeah, and there's 30,000 people here, too. Not my smartest decision. What about this province? Ooh, this has a lot of people. Wurzburg, and I haven't been getting it much attention. 
And we still got some economic issues to fix. Where is the instability? Oh, I see. We got a freaking disease. I mean, there might be some Polish provinces that I want to, you know, finish stabilizing. That should be good. Poland really freaking hates me. Not much of a surprise, to be honest. What's Russia doing? Ah, oh, well, now's the time. They're dealing with China. Let me get my armies ready. I guess I'll recruit from Chemnitz. Oh, frick, I do not have a lot of money. I have to go through some turns. I just need Kaliningrad, but knowing Russia... I'll... Oh, wait, I have 6,000 troops in Luxembourg? I didn't know about that. This ability went down a little bit. Let's fix that. I had no freaking clue I had all that. Well, those are backup troops. The main ones are going to be in um, Kaliningrad. Okay, yeah, Russia's gotten themselves into something a, a little big for them. I want to make sure the economy here doesn't decline. I want a wealthy Germany, not a freaking weak one. And Russia lacks the brain cells to not invade me. I mean, I'm going to go for Lithuania. Can I just take this one province and get away with it? Yes, I can. I mean, I got the province at like, will they accept the- Ah, You just gotta make things hard for me, don't ya? How much are they destroying the economy? Not that much. But holy crap, the amount of damage they did to my army up there. Lithuania, just quit it. You're, you're up against Germany here. You're not... Oh my goodness. I don't want the economy here freaking destroyed. Just give the frick up. Ukraine, help me out. Come on. Yes! Okay, that could have been very bad for the economy of Kleningrad. Oh, well, Lithuania's got their own problems to deal with now. Yeah, I've got all the land. I just need to accept this freaking autism peace deal. This province a turn to catch up economically. There we go. Well, Lithuania is freaking dead. Ukraine has taken their place. What the frick is the Czech Republic at war with Ukraine? What the frick are you gonna do? You can't even get to them. Improving relations from Russia at war with Russia. <laughs> How does that work? You can't, like, improve relations from a country and be fighting them at the same time. Come on, man. This game sometimes. <laughs> it's a good thing Age of History 3 is coming out. Ooh, they want to accept peace deals now. And you're not getting Kaliningrad, don't even think about it. I upgraded this land for a reason, because you're not getting it back. Alright, now let's do this. What do I need for the... Ah, uh, do I really need to... Ah... Uh... Can I undo that? Let me just load and load the save. Okay, so this is when Kaliningrad is still occupied. Okay, this is right after Lithuania. Oh, I have tons of technology points. Good thing I noticed. Uh, 
I do not like how much France freaking despises me for absolutely no reason. If I change to monarchy, can I do the... I can only do the Weimar... What's up with this? Let me go back to regular Germany. What about... Um... No. I'm wasting so much money on this. How do you do the German Confederation? I thought you needed to do the German Empire first. How do you do it? Huh, well that's weird. What's the frick? What did I do to you? There we go, got Kleningrad. How do I do the German Confederation then? This isn't gonna work. Huh, I'm a little bit puzzled. Let me look at this formable real quick and how to get to it. I might just add regular Germany to the list for countries that can do it. All right, map editor should be in here. Formable countries. German Empire. So why can't I do it as the German Empire? I don't get it. That's weird. It's some weird crap. Also, I don't need, like, Prussia for that. Like, at least this part of Prussia I don't need, apparently. I should need this, though. This formal's a little off. Do I need to actually form the German Empire first? I thought I didn't have to. I probably have to actually form it first. That's a little freaking annoying. What about now? No, I can just... Okay, but if I'm doing this, there isn't any way I'm actually invading France. I mean, I can win, but I just don't want to do it. I think what we'll do is we'll just, like, spawn in a stupidly large army and force them to accept an ultimatum. That's what we'll do. <laughs> Set army, 2,500,000. And they should accept this. Now that they're now that they're now they're at risk of an army that doesn't exist. All right. Now let's pretend that never happened. Accept. Okay, good. And once that's and like once I'm done forming the German Empire, I'll give this back to France. Because, like, I didn't really, like, willfully take it from them. I kind of just, you know, bullied them into it by spawning in an army. Hey, Polo, I'm, I'm gonna need some stuff from you. So, yeah, I probably actually need to form the German Empire first. I don't want to release a freaking vassal. Yeah. Well, that's annoying, but let's let's get this over with. Hopefully, Poland doesn't put up too fierce of a resistance. I mean, they're just Poland. What are they gonna do? All right, Poland's getting a little strong, and I don't like that. And these cities are getting freaking massive. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, I want I'm gonna build a farm in Berlin. I don't I don't want them outpacing Berlin. Holy crap, why is the economy only three thousand here? What's up with this? What the frick just happened? Sweet, I knew this would happen. 
I knew Sweden would just randomly to car war on me because haha, -ha, Germany bad. I knew this would happen eventually. It was just a matter of time. I literally predicted it earlier. And that's okay. I guess I... What the frick? They're already here. Alright then. I know how this goes with Sweden. They just attack the same two provinces, get military access to Denmark, and overall be annoying as freaking crap. And you know what, Sweden? They think it'd be really. I think that army of yours is, looks very nice, like when it disappears. Yo, you gonna freaking stop? Yeah, I'm just gonna do set armies for Sweden because I I just really want to be a jerk to Sweden. I honestly hate them. Yeah, like, th this crap's just annoying. Like, this doesn't- this isn't strategic. This just proves that you are a freaking jerk. You gonna stop? Yeah, I thought so. with the rest of this army back in Berlin and in we go this shouldn't be that hard I mean Poland got freaking decimated earlier well. yeah their cities are ruined man alright and that's all I need I can't freaking take everything because Poland is way bigger than they used to be. Ah, we're being attacked. Is that enough? Nope. That should be enough. Yep. And there we go. What's the frick? Am I in debt? I'm not. Then why can I... Who the frick am I? Oh, you little piece of crap. That's who I'm at war with. And France really freaking hates me now. What the frick are you gonna do, Tanzania? What the frick are you gonna do? Hey, you, you can deal with Ethiopia. Who else? Mozambique. Yeah, you, you, you guys can go into field day. Oh, wrong thing. Enjoy. You wanna peace out now? Nope. Well, I guess you'll learn the hard way. Ah, now you do. Now, I should be able to... Okay, there we go. Now, France... Uh, Wait a minute. I kind of want to destroy this land before I give it back, because like, I don't want them having half a decent territory. And I don't want this stabilized either, because it's Poland stuff. Yeah, let's just recruit the crap out of, of the crap out of it before we give it back to France. That's how we make max use of this land that we don't have for that long. Freaking destroy it. 
All right, now friends can have it back. Uh. What's the economy looking like? Okay, the economy's looking pretty good everywhere. Right, Poland, you can have this. In France, you can get Alsace-Lorraine back. Alright. And they really freaking hate me, so I can just see- I can just smell a war coming. And I can literally freaking sniff it out at this point, I know what's happening. Just a matter of time until France gets freaking, like, very mad. At least I got a massive army. And a freaking, like, absolutely massive army. Um, yeah, I guess I'll invade Austria first. Actually, no, Czech Republic. That's, that's they're a bit easier. I love how both of them hate a different Benelux country. <laughs> this is, this is interesting. Hmm, Prague? Prague? Prague, bruh. What I wanted to say was, um, Prague is a pretty freaking big city. What is Poland dealing with? Is that- Why? Finland, what is your problem? Just invading everyone that's having a good time. France is at war with everyone. Hmm, eight provinces, huh? I can split these into 8,000 sacks, I guess. I think that would be good. Yeah, that looked good. Like, 8,000, because I got 32,000. Alright, what do you know? Perfect calculation. Now, give me your land or you will die. I'm not gonna do that yet, because I know that... I know to, like, take a defensive position at the capital instead of actually trying to go for it, or else you will lose your entire freaking army. What the frick happened to my army right here? It's all gone. I, I already know what's gonna happen. They're gonna, like, they're gonna freaking pull a massive army out of nowhere. Whatever, man. Take my armies with you. Oh, I guess I already went through everything, because I just, that was easy. Is Prague still really big? No. Some of the population got sacrificed, but eh, it was a worthy cause. France, can you freaking stop hating me so much? Austria's next on the chopping block. This is six provinces. Well... I could get seven more thousand soldiers and make this, like, you know, another 8,000 soldier thing. Like, per, per province. Yeah, no one is a fan of me. Like, it, it's pretty obvious by now what my true intentions are. Not to be nice. Oh, that's not Stuttgart. Hey, Stuttgart's doing fine. Let me invest in Munich. And, uh... Hmm, where should I recruit from? First of all, though, that economy's a little low.
think our oh uh, I don't like the fact that Belgium is suddenly building troops on my border. But anyway, what I was gonna say was I think I'll recruit from Castle. And we'll get some from Siege in too, like maybe two thousand. There. Now I have the amount I want. Are you freaking kidding me, Romania? You little piece of crap. That is the absolute worst time. Okay, you know what? I'm declaring we're on Austria and Romania. That is the absolute worst timing possible. You could have waited a second longer and I could have had Austria. Freaking taking my land before I can get it. Oh wait, Austria's fighting back. Can they get Romania out, though, is my question. Isn't looking like it. Hmm. Well, I think now's my chance. Go. If Romania gets in my way, they're also on my chopping block. I think they should be good. Yeah. Wait, this looks fine. Unless Romania starts freaking taking land back again. As long as I get South Tyrol, we'll be all fine. And there we go. That's what I wanted. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. There we go. Is Vienna worth anything? Frick no. It got devastated. Usually Vienna is a pretty nice city to have under your control. Clearly not this time, though. And last but not least, Lavinia, which I'm pretty sure my army is a good chunk of their population. Yeah, I'll send them an ultimatum demanding vassalization. Then I'll annex them. Actually, that liberty desire is going up very fast. I think I might have to end their existence before they free themselves. Or I could just wait until the Declaration of Independence. How many turns? 13. Mad nah, rather invade them. Oh, wait, no, we have a truce! Declare your independence, I don't care. Wait. How do I turn that up? Ah, here. There. Pay me all of your money. I'm gonna freaking suck all of your money out. Alright, now you're dead. I don't need this province by chance, do I? Are you kidding me? I was, I was gonna rage there, but for the sake of your ears, I didn't. Dear viewer. In France, you need to chill. Like, really, dude. Well, hmm. Poland's borders just look freaking weird. I mean, what even is this? Uh... Alright, seven provinces. Um... I guess I'll recruit from Austria's stuff. It should be like, uh, it's a little more than I wanted, but whatever. Okay, we're gonna do 6,000 per province. I think I might, I think I might do 7,000 per province, actually. Uh, what the frick just happened? Yeah, you, both of you two can frick off. It's the dumbest coalition I've ever seen. You're getting nothing out of that. And I'm not forming a coalition against Morocco. Go deal with your own problems. I don't live in Africa. Oh, 
Hopefully Romania isn't just gonna think, oh yeah, why would we let Germany get a quick and easy win? Please don't do that. Okay, good. And we can form it. Uh, let me just get all my army to Berlin first. And right now it's like, you know, in, in Austria and Slovenia and stuff. Why the frick did France- oh wait, no, those provinces didn't recover that well, never mind. I thought they like already had a like full-fledged out population and everything, but no. I damaged those provinces is still, like, is still not- is, has still not been fixed yet. I don't like how much France hates me, but the frick are they gonna do? I have twice their population. I'm checking for, like, low economy provinces like this one. I wonder if Frankfurt grew as much as it did. I thought the economy there was like, I'd have to invest in it constantly, but nope. What about here? Yeah. And I, we can form it. So there we go. I formed it. That was forming the German Confederation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Also, why do I have a capital in Frankfurt? Is my capital not in Berlin? Wait, is that just a glitch? Um, where's my capital? Oh, it's in Frankfurt. Well, then why does it say it's in Berlin? Okay, I guess I'll move it to Frankfurt. Are you freaking kidding me? What? It, what the frick are you gonna do? You're arrogant as crap if you don't accept this peace deal. Okay, good. And there we go. And I'm I'm not going to end the video here. I'm going to keep it going because I want to, like, upgrade my economy a lot. I guess the Frankfurt's going to be my capital. I guess this is, like, my new, like, passion project city where I, like, put all of my effort into it. Ooh, I have not been researching this entire time. Uh-oh. These cities are fine. Eh, a little low economy here. And I like the economy to be a little higher here, too. Yeah, we got a massive population now. And my camera keeps going all over the place. Which city did I just invest in? These ones. Yeah, when you play as Germany in Age of History, you kind of have to play, like, the long game of upgrading your economy and then going to war. That is, if you want to have someone of an economy after you do it. What do I need to stabilize? I still freaking... I got, like, 9 million menus open at once. Oops. Also, why is my capital in Frankfurt, of all places? My largest city is Munich. I'm gonna, like, invest a whole bunch in my bigger cities. You, you might have to deal with France, because, like, France is giving me a little bit of a side-eye. In other words, they're freaking mad at me for no reason. Actually, I wonder why I just freaking conquered a whole bunch of former German territory. That, I mean, this is a part of the German Confederation. So this actually wasn't, like, medieval-era ancient. This is more just, like, Victorian-era ancient. Yeah, I'm not liked by a lot of Europe. Yeah, like, the three big boys freaking hate me. I could get two-fronted and actually lose, but... Actually, would I lose? No! <laughs> why, would, why would I lose? My economy's way better than theirs. That was a little bit of an exaggeration. I'm not losing crap. Also, I just noticed... Like, we were just barely big enough where I can access the Baltic Sea, the North Sea, and the Adriatic Sea.
<laughs> so I, we're, we're like a 3C country now. Yeah, I like to not like have such bad relations with the three big boys here. How's Russia doing? Also, Ukraine is in Belarus. Interesting. I'm kind of funny how they didn't take any Russian territory with them, just Belarus territory. What happened to Finland? Oh, Poland bullied them brutally. I mean, they still they still got some high population stuff. Hasn't been ruined yet. How's Russia doing? Hmm. For, they looked like they were destroying China earlier. How'd they lose so bad? Also, what happened to China? Look at this. This is just brutal, man. They, like, what, what happened in Tibet? Also, India had a rebellion? What's this about? Kam, Tibet, Guj, Shanshan, Shan, Heksai, Datong. I don't know. Taiwan has this for some reason. They got they got most of South Korea. South Korea is in North Korea. North Korea is just straight up gone. Whatever, man. Oh wait, no, they're up here. They're in Russia. Oh wait, I just now noticed Russia has Mongolia, but I mean, come on, what's that gonna do for you? Just be real now. Let me invest in some of my other cities. I mean, we already are like a super state, but I can turn Germ Germany even into even more of a super state. Oh, I just realized I have not been... Actually, I'm pretty sure their economy is really good, though. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't been investing in Luxembourg this entire time, but I'm pretty sure their city is so good I don't need to. Until, like, really freaking late game. I'm going to invest a little bit less in siege like they, the other, the other cities need to catch up to him. Yeah, Dortmund needs to catch up. Leipzig, Chemnitz, I'll invest in all of them. Keep misclicking. I want to click more. France still freaking hates me. Whatever, man. Well, at least Poland doesn't hate me that much anymore. I'm surprised Slovakia's lasted this long. Well, I mean, if they if I actually wanted them, I could have been, I could have killed them earlier. But since I don't care, I was just forming the German Confederation. Well, didn't really care too much. Yeah, look at all these major cities you got. Like, the big black dots are the major cities, and the small black dots are the minor ones. But I'm pretty sure all of our cities are a little too big to be, like... Uh, except, except for the ones that aren't actually in Germany. But in actual Germany, I don't think you'll find any, like, hamlets. Yeah, no. All the cities are too big for that. And we've got a whopping 4.8 million people. That is quite a lot. And I bet Germany contributes to almost all of that. Let's see. Like, without without Poland. Without, like, the Polish territories. Just Germany. And I can't count Frankfurt, but that's, like, an extra 82,000 or something. Alright. With just Germany. Okay, yeah, Germany's carrying this. <laughs> just Germany has 3.2 million you're telling me only one million is outside of this? Yeah, Germany's freaking carrying. Wait, but what was the economy? Let's look again. I didn't I didn't see it, I was just looking at population. I know the economy is nine hundred and thirty five thousand. Germany also completely dominates that too. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, Germany's kinda carrying this empire. Yeah, Ger Germany's carrying big time.
I'm pretty sure this video is probably very long at this point, but I don't want to tab out to check. I'd rather just keep going. What's Munich doing? He's doing fine. Hmm, this city needs a lot of economic investments. It's got a big population, but not a lot of economy. Now it has a lot of economy. How does, what does France think of me? It's only negative 45 now. I mean, our relations are slowly getting better. What about this province? Yeah, this province always seems to be like running a little low on economy. Also, I haven't checked on Stuttgart in a long time. And they're one of the largest cities, but I haven't done crap with them. These two, I guess I'll invest in them. I guess once I'm done doing this, I guess I won't I guess I'll go check Germany's leaderboard stats. And this round has tons of people too, but only six thousand economy, huh? Oh, oh my <laughs> my game almost crashed. Alright, oh, Romania freaking hates me. Poland hates me more now, jeez, can I get like a single friend other than Belgium? Never mind, Belgium's not even my friend anymore. Let's check this out, we got 5.2 million people, my economy is 1.16 million, almost 1.17 million. Let's check this out. How much do we, I mean, we don't dominate by provinces, we've only got 107, because we're a European country, we're not going to be that big. How about, hmm, you take up a decent chunk of the world population. However, look at this! And the cool thing is, most of our population is German, too. Like, not much of it isn't. A tiny chunk of it isn't German. And we completely dominate in the economic aspect as well. What about conquered provinces? I mean, we probably haven't done too much. I'm pretty sure Germany starts off with like 60-something. Where are we? I don't think we're too high on this list. Where are we? Am I, have I missed Germany? Where is it? Ah, here it is. We've conquered 84. Is that like... That might mean just... Like how many times you've gotten a promise and it got taken back or something it, it could it could mean that because i don't think i conquered that many if i've only got 107 now 107 yeah w what did we start with i can i can just like do the release a vassal thing again what did what, what did we start with i'm gonna have to count frankfurt too Um, 59. Well, 60, actually. And, so that's actually 40. That's a little bit wrong. Hmm. Age of history math skill issue. I love how, like, this area used to be a lot weaker than, like, the Netherlands. Like, the Rhine, the Rhineland area used to be way weaker than, than, like, the Netherlands area that's close to the Rhine, like, around here, so... And now we're, like, way stronger than that. Nice. 
Anyway, that was forming the German Confederation, and I will see you guys in the next video. No, this is a long video, but I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.